Shall I, Manbir? Recording started. Going well and staying safe. Myself, Divya, the social media manager, and I welcome you all to for to today's podcast with Richa Maheshwari. And the topic we will be discussing today is the success sauce to the, sorry, secret to the success. So, hi, ma'am. Hi, hi, Divya. Yeah. So, can you tell us about yourself? Like, what do you do? Sure. So, um, as you all know, my name is Richa Maheshwari. I uh, was born in uh, Mumbai, but I was raised in Ranchi, which is Dhoni city. Um, uh, after being in Ranchi for a couple of years, I came to Mumbai uh, to you know make a career for myself. Um, well, talking professionally, uh, I started uh, working with uh, two of the India's leading domestic airlines, which is Kingfisher Airlines and Indigo Airlines, way back in 2005. And I flew with them for about four years and then I quit flying, got into training. I realized that training is my uh, passion. Training is my, you know, the purpose of my life. And I love to empower people, transform people. I also have, uh, you know, motivated and uh, trained close to three lakh people in these last 12 and a half years of training and motivation and speaking experience. Uh, I'm here on a mission to impact one million lives. Um, I really feel this is my true calling because um, I love to empower people, transform people, inspire people. And I've been doing that since the past 12 and a half years and love what I do. So that's a little bit about myself. That's great to know, ma'am. So what, are, what challenges, difficulties did you face through your life? Uh, well, yes, uh, there were quite a lot of challenges uh, which I faced uh, personally when we were growing up. Um, so as I mentioned before, uh, I was uh, in Ranchi, I grew up there um, in a family where finance was always a challenge. And um, uh, thinking back of old days when I was about 10 or 11 years old, at that point of time, there were many, many challenges which my family had to face financially. Uh, my father was uh, into alcohol. He also uh, had borrowed a lot of money from people. He used to put that into shares, lost a lot of money. And, you know, always living in this financial um, crux, you know, where it, there was never enough money and there were three siblings to support and uh, my father didn't really have a fixed, uh, you know, source of income. So he, uh, there was a lot of um, anxiety and stress and frustration while growing up with regards to finances. And I grew up with that kind of environment and I realized to me that this is not the kind of person I want my life to be defined as. I want to be somebody who is self-sufficient and who is uh, you know who, who has a growth mindset and not you know to live beyond the uh, boundaries that I was in so I came to Mumbai with uh, hardly any money I uh, wanted to self-support myself didn't take really any money from my parents um there were days when I you know I mean when we were doing uh, when I had enrolled myself into college I used to stay in small rooms with five five people each you know in that small uh, 100 uh, square feet room, you know, and it, it used to be uh, very challenging and difficult because as I was doing my college, I was also doing part-time jobs, you know, to um, uh, support myself. And um, it used to be very difficult, but I knew that there was light at the end of the tunnel and I knew that um, I would be able to make it. So I really worked hard and I I'm, uh, was very determined that I wanted to make it for myself. So these were the kind of yeah. challenges I grew up with. Yeah, always working hard uh, comes out with flying colors. So uh, can you, yeah, can you share with us some secret mantras which can help a person to be successful? Sure. Thanks for asking me that question. And it is indeed a very, very important question uh, because success, a lot of people want success, but are you really willing to work hard is what my question to everybody is. Um, because if you want to be successful, you need to be really willing to put in that extra effort, that extra determination, willpower has to be very, very strong. And you have to have that focus wherever you're working towards something. So I think um, for me, the success mantras, which I have really lived by in all these years, uh, through my struggles, through my challenges, the first mantra I live by is your attitude defines your altitude in life. So watch your attitude. Make sure that you are living every day with that positivity. Um, because only if you are positive in your mindset will positive things happen in your life. So that's the number one mantra. 
Be sure about what your attitude is and always cultivate a positive attitude. The second mantra which I personally believe is very important is live with passion. Everything that you do has to be, you know, every single day of your life, you have to live with passion and energy and enthusiasm. Because only, you know, there's a very popular saying that how you do anything is how you do everything. So you need to really live with passion every single day of your life. The third success mantra is you need to be willing to give 110% to yourself, to your work, to whatever you're passionate about. And don't be shy of working hard because there's no shortcut to success. So give yourself that 110% focus, determination, will work, and really put that into your work if you want to get success. Mm -hmm. So there you go, three success mantras. Yeah, so if I'm not wrong, the first mantra is being positive. Second mantra is uh, um, staying consistent. No, passion. passion. Passion is, yeah, living with a passion. And the third one is give your 110%. Yes. So hopefully, I guess, uh, these success mantras are going to be really helpful to the audience. So um, what would you have done differently if you could? What I would have done differently if I could have. I think I would have taken more chances in life. I would have uh, really um, uh, not been fearful of things because I was growing, as I was growing up, there were a lot of doubts in my mind. There were a lot of things which I used to fear, you know, uh, of taking that step towards what I want to, you know, what I want in life. So I think I would have, um, one thing which I feel I could have done this differently would be taking more chances in life and not having fear dominate my thinking. Yeah. Okay. So that's great. So what adv advice will you give to your viewers who are chasing success? Wow. Interesting question. That is, uh, so all those viewers out there who are really chasing success, my advice, my suggestion to all of you would be stop chasing success. Chase happiness instead. Okay. Because the more you chase success, the more it, uh, you know, ends up running away from you and, you know, turning its back on you. But when you focus on really chasing happiness, even if you're successful, that happiness will overflow in your life. A lot of people, you know, who are successful are not really happy. They may be having millions of dollars in their bank account. They may be living in a plush house and having a, you know, uh, the best of cars in front of them, but they, are, they may be very sad and lonely. So my advice would be live happily, choose happiness over success. Once you choose happiness, success will automatically follow. And the second advice which I would really give to all the viewers here is know what you want. Okay. Um, because when you know what you want, when you know your why, when your why is strong, the what and how will follow. So you need to be sure about what is it that you really want in life because only then the time, the effort, the energy that you're putting into that work will really multiply and be fruitful for you. So always know your vibe. Okay, that's great. Like, as you told before, um, having a, a passion towards what goal you have set and giving your one ten percent and being positive will help you in uh, succeeding. Not uh, chasing behind your goal will give you success, but putting your 100%, 110% will give success. So that's great to hear from you, ma'am. Thank you for, uh, um, thank you, Richa Maheshwari and thank you, audience. Uh, until we catch in the uh, next podcast, stay safe. Thank you so much, Divya and the entire team of Air Radiator. Thank you so much for having me. It was a privilege speaking to all the viewers. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care, everyone. And wish you a very happy Diwali in advance. Stay safe. Bye-bye. Yeah. Happy Diwali. Yeah.